Can you hear me? My name is Megan Smith, and I'm going to talk to you about the 50 Cups of Coffee Project. So whenever I started my business um, back in 2011, I'm a CPA and I didn't know really anybody in town. I didn't know any nonprofits, I didn't know any customers, I didn't know what to do. So I went to a few networking events and stood against the wall and looked around and handed out a business card and that was it. I knew that was not a good plan at all. So I went to the long tap event and Wes was really nice. Um, I wanted to get to know him better and about that time I heard about this 50 Cups of Coffee project. So the project is to have 50 cups of coffee with 50 different people in 50 days. Now I had very small kids so I could not do 50 days of coffee. So I decided to expand it to a year in 50 weeks basically. So Wes was the first one that I asked out. Um, and this project spiraled into something I never would have imagined. So why would you do cups of coffee with people? Um, my purpose was to expand my business because I didn't really know anybody. You can decide to meet with all the nonprofit presidents. You can decide to meet with all the political candidates. You can decide to meet with anybody you want, basically. It does not matter. Um, you will definitely meet new people whenever you're doing this. And in each meeting, you ask for a referral. Who else can I meet? Who else should I get to know? And you tell them, you should meet Wes. He's great. He can talk to you about networking. So all of you there are being made up in these meetings. Um, my business is very personal. I can't just go to a networking event and exchange a card with somebody and have them think I look nice and then hire me to be their accountant. It doesn't work that way. They have to know me very well and trust me. And I have to like them to be able to feel comfortable giving them advice. So I had to take something to the next level and meet with them one on one and form a relationship with these people. So who do you meet? You can meet friends that you already sort of kind of know. We call them acquaintances. You can meet customers of yours that you want to get to know better and spend more time with. You can do like I did and ask out random strangers, which really works out pretty well. Um, anybody has the time, really, for a cup of coffee. The fastest meetings are about 15 minutes. The longer ones can be two hours if you're really getting it off. Everybody can afford a cup of coffee. I mean, Starbucks is about five bucks. Everybody has that kind of money. So go through your business cards and find who you met with at different, you know, mm -hmm. on tap events or different chamber events and start calling up those people to get to know them better. You can post on Facebook, hey guys, I want to do coffee, who wants to meet with you? So my first meeting was with Wes and then I met with Mike on the shortly after. After those first two meetings, I got asked to be on the board of on tap. At the very first board meeting, I heard about the playground enhancement project. And I thought that sounded like a great idea, which I don't know if you know, but we've since raised the money for the project, project the equipment's there. During the course of raising those funds, we decided to have a full fundraiser, which was supposed to be a run. So I volunteered to chair a run that seemed easy enough. Somehow, by a twist of fate, it turned into the Dragon Boat Festival, and my name was somehow still attached. I couldn't get off of it. So we've since done this to be our third Dragon Boat Festival. Um, after I met you, with Wes and Mike. I met with Travis Watt and Callie Bourne. Both are on top board members. Callie introduced me to Barbara Gotro, who then wrote an article on the lifestyle on this project. After the article came out, I had about five or six strangers email me and said, this is a great idea, I want to meet with you, the coffee girl, which was apparently my new name. Um, I was also on Twitter one day, and the top two, Crawford Como and Eileen Bennett were on Twitter tweeting these very interesting things. So I just randomly sent them a message and said, you guys sound interesting, let's get together. And they somehow agreed. And then on Facebook, Thomas Peters and Panat were doing really interesting things. So I met with them as well. And these are just some more people that I have met with. Um, Mike and Janet, um, old high school friends I've connected with. The guy at Bob Miller Middle, that's Tyler. I was actually at a client's one day and he came in to do some computer work and I had this project in mind, so I asked for his business card, hooked up with him for coffee, and he's been my customer for a few years now. And had I not been doing this project, I would have said, hey, how's it going? And we went on with our lives. And then Simon, last but not least, which is why I'm here today. Wes actually knew about this project and sent me a text with Simon and said, Maybe you and Sonny should meet. He was my only man at that point in time. 
So how do you set up these meetings? It's pretty simple. I am not a phone call person. I'm not an in-person person. I like email. It's just me. So I email people, and my emails are pretty easy. This is a sample of one I send. I call it a project. Um, I say that I want to get to know you better, because I do. And I usually pick a date so that we can not play email volleyball forever. So I'll give them some dates and times, and nobody has ever told me no of the 30 people I've met with. Nobody has ever said, no way you can hear. Everybody wants to meet <laughs> until I can't get to know you better, because everybody wants that one-on-one -on -one relationship. So don't be afraid to start it. So what is a coffee meeting? Basically, it is a conversation. It is getting to know them and seeing what they need and what they're interested in to form that relationship. It is connecting with intention. So if I feel like you were interesting or I want to get to know you better, I will email you or please email me. Don't feel like if I don't email you, you're not interesting. Um, it's just making a point to get to know people one-on-one. -on -one. Because so often we go to these networking events, we exchange cards, we go home, we say, that was fun, and then nothing ever happens. So it's just forming that relationship one-on-one. -on -one. It is not a sales pitch. I do not sit there and talk about how great I am and how wonderful I can do accounting and all these things. You do not do that. My very worst meeting was with a financial advisor who spent the entire time telling me about his customer list. It was not fun. <laughs> do not do that. Um, it is not sitting in Starbucks with a checklist and a timer going, ding, next. I mean, just meet with people that you want to know better. So where can you meet? It doesn't always have to be coffee. You can meet at the park, you can go for a walk, you can have a beer, you can have a lunch at Clementine's. It really doesn't matter. It's just the point to get to know people better one-on-one. -on -one. So I started this project wanting to do 50 cups of coffee in a year in 2011. I still have not done it, but this has become a way of life for me to just meet with people. Everybody I run across, I think, about having coffee with them and try to connect one-on-one. -on -one. So if I had not tried this project, I would not be here today because I would not have the people I know. Um, so this has just been very interesting for me and it's really easy to start and it will completely change your life.